Need to create a zip file in Linux? This is the video for you. Zip files are used to bundle files as well as reduce the overall size of the files via compression. Tar.gz is another format that is seen often in Linux. We'll touch on how to create and update both zip files and tar.gz since it's a very similar process. In this video, we'll learn how to create a zip file or tar.gz. We'll learn how to add files to a zip file remove files from a zip file, and we'll also learn about tar.xc and why you may or may not want to use it. As a note, I'll be showing this in KDE Plasma, but I will be including screenshots of what this would look like in GNOME. The process is very similar. As long as you're familiar with the basic setup of GNOME, this should be an easy to transfer process to GNOME. So I'm here in a test file. I'm going to right click and do properties. And you'll notice this is 1.9 gigabyte. So if I go into this, I just have five videos from previous videos that I've done for YouTube. And I can actually go and compress each one of these. I could bring this to a zip file for that particular video. I could highlight them all and right click and go to compress and go to zip there. Or I can come out to the actual folder, right click, compress, and I can pick tar.gz, which we'll do next or a zip. And I'll pick zip and it should complete fairly quickly for a file this size. All right. And so now if I look, the file has went from 1.9 gigabytes down to 1.8 gigabytes. Astounding, right? Let's do this again for compression and then tar.gz. And let's see if there's any difference. If we check our tar.gz file, go to properties, we'll once again see 1.8 gigabytes. So very similar file sizes. So you may ask, why well, pick one over the other? We'll get to that. From here, we can open this. We can open this with ARC, and this is going to give us a few options. In GNOME, there is another application, and I'll have the screenshot on the screen to show you that. Uh, from here, I can extract the entire archive. I could click on an individual file and extract that file if I needed to. Regardless of whether I have a tar.gz or a zip file, I can have the option to extract or add files. If I click add, it's going to ask me what file I want to add. I'm going to add this NKV right here, and it's added that in to the archive. And additionally, if I need to remove a file, say I didn't want this one in here anymore, I can click on the file and I can remove from archive or I can simply right click the file, remove from archive. And now it's gone and I'm back to my original setup five. So when we were looking at the menu to compress, you may have noticed this compress two. If I click that, you'll get this other menu and you'll get a bunch of different types of files that you can compress to. What I wanna talk about really quickly here is tar xz. I'm gonna go on and run this and then we're gonna take a look at all the times and the file sizes we ended up with. Okay, and now we have our tar.xz file. If I right click this one and I go to properties, you'll notice we are down to 1.7 gigabytes. So we're going from 1.8 to 1.7. It took significantly longer for the tar.xz file to actually be created for a very minimal amount of space savings at this point. So let's take a look at the numbers and I will briefly talk about them and then we'll come back. Editor Vash here. So ultimately the zip and tar.gz completed in about 40 seconds and were 1.8 gigabytes while the tar.xz took 14 minutes and about 12 seconds and was 1.7 gigabytes. So it took approximately 21 times longer for a very minimal amount of difference in storage space. Naturally, this will change with the types of file and the sizes of files that you have. As the files get bigger, it may be consideration to use tar.exe, but it is gonna take significantly longer to actually compress to tar.exe. So earlier, I brought up the question of what the difference was between a zip file and a tar.gz. If you wanna know more about that, check out this video here. Otherwise, that's it for me. Thanks for watching, have a great day, and I will see you next time.